gonna be trying to fix this for a temporary till Marvin can continue it this is just day one of putting this all together it's Sunday Kai Kai is here eating all of the food hi aren't you on diet <sighs> but there's still Monday up until Thursday a uh, Wednesday to finish this up and putting everything in the middle Secure. Mm. Well, I'm not gonna be here during the painting. I'm just here during this part of putting stuff everything here in the center. So look at all the mess in the side. But um I'll see if my mom can actually vlog for you guys on the painting. <laughs> <laughs> on how it's working but I'll be giving you guys a reveal we're gonna go for a light mocha-ish kind of color unless I change my mind it's here like this kind we'll be getting the paints tomorrow I mean when we are gonna fix the bed frame this fell down but this has always been like loose like this one here it's you see Manilin, it's like it's stuck to the bed frame but this one look oh see it's not there's a big space it's been like that for a while so we're gonna put that up and let marvin do the rest tomorrow or whenever yeah. <sighs> so that concludes day one i removed all the frames i've had here all the stuff i've had in this section all of this stuff here doesn't need to be packed up because I'm just going to be moving it here in the side because they're just painting the, the walls, not the ceiling. And as well as this one, if there's leftover paint, they'll paint the desk too. But um, tomorrow we will be getting paint and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to vlog that, but I'll show you on which color I got though. But I'll be seeing you in day two. This one's the white. This is for the desk. Oh yeah, you can see that the color is changing. So I think it's day number four, or I'm not quite sure already. But um, here we will be transferring one bed because throughout the painting process, I will be sleeping in here with my parents. Hi Kane. We have here the mattress and everything. The bed frame's over there. The camera keeps fogging up because of the rain like look how hard the rain is right now there you, you can see in this one the, the humidity this keeps fogging you guys up but um the bed frame is over here in my room 
I have a bunch of my furniture that's out here already. And here's the room so far. And the bed frame currently. That we will be transferring. Also have a bunch of stuff here to move in the center. So they went to lunch now. Here's an update. This is already the second coat. And then uh, next week they will be doing Oh shoot. I'm beat that out. <laughs> I saw the color. <laughs> but uh here. This part is not yet. But the one in here is I wonder if I should paint over there or not. So this one's finished. I can see that we're doing that so it's just this side and there, then they're close to finishing this part. They're in lunch, so maybe I can try. How's my job here? <laughs> I got a little paint also on my hand. But I think I did pretty good in that part. I'm not really familiar too much with wood painting much like with this guy on the wall. Because usually I waste too much paint when I do it by accident. So. And I'm used to the bigger rollers, not the smaller one. But yeah. <laughs> Anyway, the white one, if it's messed up, you can just color, color it with the paint that we're supposed to do. <laughs> so, they're not painting the ceilings, but look at all the mess here we have. And I still have to organize all of this back, so that's going to be a little bit harder for you guys to watch. But for me, it's the more stressful kind. Uh, so that's the update of this day, and then next up will be the color. Time for the next day of coating the paint. <laughs> How are we on? I'm making sure you don't see the color yet. <laughs> but um, I didn't film the process of the first and second coating of the final color. The last thing you guys saw was color white. And they have put the color now. It's right here. <laughs> and I'm looking at myself at the viewfinder because so you don't see the color yet but um we have the color all set now and everything left to do is just to decorate and rearrange everything because everything is scattered so have you commented below already your guess on the color and let's see if you were correct so the color is dun, 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 more of a lavender lilac <laughs> my favorite color is this color I know, you might be wondering, maybe it's the same color as my house. No, this one's actually a lighter shade of it, where it's like, looks more like whitish. Even in the camera, it looks like this. So, we did all this upper here, and the sides here. What do you guys think? And I'm also trying to figure out where to put certain things, because look at this mess I have here. Like, I have a bunch of stuff. To rearrange. Planning to put the desk here probably because I don't usually normally uh, I don't usually use the desk before it was over here and then it's over here and but I don't use it at all because I am like direct hit of the aircon. Well, I probably should not go against this one as well. We painted this desk again to like a lighter shade to fit in more with the room because 
that dark color made it feel very like oldish, not like new. But um, a lot of things here is still the same, it's just that maybe I'll change it up a little bit. So first we removed all the stickers over here so the painting was good. Then in here I plan to put the bed like where it was which was here because I found it comfy to wake up and then the sunlight is here. Then the big thing here. Then I plan to put this desk over there with the windows. And the TV is forced to be here because that's where all the cables are. So I think that this one will just be going back to the same spot. But I have like a bunch of things to still determine on where am I going to put it. But um, by the time this video is out, I can't really ask you for advice on where to put stuff in my room. But this one is the continuation of how it's been going. I've been terrible <laughs> in remembering to show you guys the updates of everything in this room makeover. So, here, let's, let's do a little thing so that it doesn't make me look so bad. So it is the first coating of the room, then it is the second coating of the room. Oh, there's the chalk set. <laughs> but I did take a picture, a few, a few pictures earlier of the room when they were painting it, so it's here on the screen. And we have a bunch of the frames, everything taken down here. I've ordered these in Shopee. These butterflies, because butterflies is my favorite nice animal. Yeah, because the first one's snake. <laughs> but I got these like purple-ish butterflies as well as a pink. Because I plan to like mix these two together in like forming like a little shape or something here. I'm also planning on putting in um, fairy lights. And you know like fake leaves like the vine style where it would like go like in the upper here but I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna continue with that one because it seems like a lot of work as well as my room's huge so I'm gonna be needing like how many and that's pretty much my plan at the moment we were gonna paint these doors white like again another coat but like you can see that there's like a little dirt not really visible to you guys but it's made of plastic the extra layer that's on top of this wood so we can't paint over it we also have a bunch of the nails that's still in there but good thing they paint over it and not remove it so like if i re would remove the frame it's not noticeable right away unless you're up close then i still have this little one what do you think of the job they did? Here. I'm gonna give you guys like a little slow-mo of everything. That is what I have for you today. Tomorrow I'm... Wait. Tomorrow's man's birthday, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be rearranging my room yet. Maybe in the afternoon. If I do in the afternoon, I would vlog it for you guys. That you'll see me struggling to move this heavy desk and all of this and rearrange it somehow. But I don't think I was, I'm gonna be sleeping back here in my room tomorrow because the smell of the paint is very strong, so it's not yet completely dried. I am staying in my parents' room. We transferred there a bed that I've been staying in. That's where I've been staying the past week, ever since they started my room. Because they've been doing it twice a week, the painting, because that's the only days they're available. But look how perfect they got it in the line. <laughs> So thank you to Marvin and Joshua for painting my room <laughs> and it's much more of a more color. The reason I chose, I chose lavender is because it's much more of a bright color and it defines me where I feel more of like joy 
and like the purple is like a symbolize of like I'm a new one because I am turning 20 in September so I need to have a much more grown-up color because the pink reminds me of my room in America but like it's such a dark color shade that it made it feel weird already like I'm stuck in the same area because my room is just the same color the whole time, nothing new. So I was supposed to paint it like a brownish, but then I realized the floors are brown. Then it was white, it was looked good, but then the ceiling's white. So we went for my favorite color because I was undecided. So lavender I feel like best fits me, it's my favorite color as well as butterflies that are purple, they're my favorite too. And I feel like purple fits the word butterfly theme. Because <laughs> mm. I just think that butterflies are such beautiful creatures. So, if you have any more future ideas to add to my room, then comment it below and maybe I will have that in the future. I did have an idea where right here, I'll put a stand, then a projector, and then I can have a screen here. So if ever I want to watch movies. But that's just a future thing, not right now. It's not like I need it right now, so I still have my TV to watch. So if you have any ideas, just comment below and I'll be seeing you when I'm rearranging all of this. <laughs>
let's get started. I just hung the first curtain to see how it looks. I mixed this pinkish color and then a white one. Like these are two separate. Then for my birthday, I've had these left over. So I just cut up just to make a DIY. And here, Basil's already enjoying the bed. <laughs> Still have a little bit work to do. So I'm gonna hang the second curtain now. <laughs> August oh no, August 1 <laughs> had to clarify myself one so there's a bunch of dogs we got the bed in here the curtains are all up it kind of looks weird with this one was down but when it's tied up it actually looks nice this area here I didn't finish unpacking that and putting it where so ignore that side of the room this one here has come together well and I have a shoppy fine where it looks like this, this one here, it's like um, like a desk, you know. And I'm planning to either put it 
like right here in my desk right over here or place it somewhere else but I think that's where it would be then I'll rearrange some things because I have a few things here that needs to be hung tomorrow and this I, I also got here like these like kind of shelves where it has like these like magnets attached to it or it's from Shopee so it's build yourself not you have to let someone else build for you so I'm gonna start building these and watch me build and probably fail how many times <laughs> So finally, I got this set up and a bunch of these. I know it looks kind of like confusing at the moment, but it's like these here would have like hooks that would attach it like this. So it's like little like um, cabinet style and these are the hooks. And I can actually do this myself because it's the kind I can just use a hammer, and I have a hammer here. 